Why did your State Farm insurance go up? I'm Justin. And I am Aaron. And this is Insurance Hacks, where we take our considerable years of insurance knowledge and help you hack your way through the jungle, which is being a modern day insurance consumer. And today, we're talking about State Farm specifically. Yeah, and there are a lot of consumers who consume State Farm insurance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're one of the biggest, right? Yeah, they're the biggest. Okay. They insure, I don't know, something like one in every eight households, something like that. Um, right. And so a lot of people have State Farm insurance. You bet. So let's talk about what's gonna be happening with State Farm or maybe what has already happened by the time you're watching this video. Right, I'm guessing there's a lot of people who searched us up angrily to find the answer to this question. So yeah. let's talk to them. Now, to be totally fair, this is not a State Farm exclusive problem. Right. But we know some of the numbers and we wanna point them out to you to help you understand why exactly uh, you have that big sticker shock, why you just had to pick your jaw up off the floor when you saw your renewal come through from State Farm. And why their agent probably didn't call you to talk about it because there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah. So we don't know everything about State Farm, but we do go to insurance conferences and eat the mediocre breakfast and lunch and listen to the inane questions from other insurance agents just so we can come back here and help you understand better what's happening in this wider world of ours. So I think we first have to define a couple of things so that we can help people understand this. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be talking about two factors today. These are just two, but they're two pretty big ones, okay? So the first is growth, and how are we defining growth here? Growth is gonna be the premium growth uh, and the policy holder growth. So you the know, amount how many policies of insurance, force? Yeah. the amount of insurance that they have in their books. Yeah, between policies in force and the premium okay. growth, really that's what we're looking at in terms of growth. And the other factor is what? Loss ratio. Okay. Carriers call it combined ratio because right. that combines the natural disasters. That all sounds like insurance jargon to me. What is the loss ratio? Well, it, yeah, so it's, I mean, it's the loss ratio and they call it combined ratio, but it's, it's how much you pay out versus how much you bring in. Okay, so we're talking about for every dollar, they pay out this much. How much is going out, yeah. Okay, all right. Every one dollar of revenue you bring in, how okay. much are you having to pay out exclusively for losses? We're not even talking about operating expenses here. Right. This is purely a loss figure. Okay, so State Farm. Is this, what's what are they, they gotta be what, 50% loss ratio? <laughs> well, like I said, State Farm is leading the pack. Okay. Uh, not only in terms of company size, but also, unfortunately, in terms of loss ratio and in terms of growth. Okay. So we're sitting here in the fourth quarter of 2022. Right before the recession hit. <laughs> yeah. We, so we got some numbers uh, that were coming out from the beginning part of the year. At the end of the second quarter of 2022, Okay. they had moved from a combined ratio of around 120 121 okay all the way up to 130 so to, to rough, roughly 130 to translate that that means for every dollar they brought in they paid out one dollar and 30 cents in clamps yes before they paid any salaries did any marketing did state farm do any marketing this year <laughs> actually as we roll into this last quarter not as much as they used to yeah they're but, slowing that down yeah i mean i don't think you'll see their ads in the super bowl this year that's mm -hmm. for sure so you know so they're losing a dollar thirty for every, for every dollar, dollar they bring in that seems like a really bad business model call me crazy but i think that wouldn't be sustainable it does get worse it does it okay well <laughs> do share well because in addition to paying out a dollar thirty for every dollar they're bringing in, they're also growing at eight percent right now. So they're bringing more dollars in. You multiply so that thirty cent right. loss by eight, they're losing a bunch of money. You bet. So wow. what are they gonna do about it? I mean, I suspect that, as I think, you've searched this up because they raised your rates. If they haven't, and you're watching this to the moment in the last quarter, I'd begin shopping and preparing yourself for finding a different company because that's what's gonna have to happen. They're gonna have to bring those rates up because you know this is this pre-recession time is a weird time because money's still being spent. People are out there having a good time. They're living life. That's the other thing we learned from this conference is the more money people have, the more claims they're gonna make. It was really weird. They showed us this chart and line graph, everything. Right. And uh, 
at the moments that we got our stimulus checks as a, as a country, right. that is when claims spike. Gonna go out and have a good time, mm -hmm. gonna wreck that car. And so, you know, the insurance companies, this is not sustainable. State mm -hmm. Farm is going to change. You know, we're seeing some wild things happen that we've not seen before. I actually, right before we started this video, just read an article that Allstate is no longer selling homeowners insurance in California. These are insurance companies. Their whole reason to exist is to sell insurance and they're yeah. cutting it down. Yeah, we just got another email from one of the carriers yep. that we've written business with uh, for a while and they have pumped the brakes and said everything that comes through their rating system has to go through underwriting and that was a few weeks ago we got that right. communication and then just today we got a communication that said, hey, by the way, it's going to take us about two weeks to process all of these uh, things that you want us to underwrite. So in the meantime, if it's going to take more than 14 days and that's not going to work for you, you might want to consider other options. I think the better way to say it is thanks, but no thanks. And mm -hmm. that's where things are right now. And State Farm is going to have to get there. This just isn't sustainable. I don't care how much banking they do. I don't care how much life insurance they sell. Paying at a buck 30 for every dollar they bring in is just not going to work. So if you call your state farm agent mm -hmm. about your rate increase, okay. what are your options that your state farm agent's gonna have for you? Yeah, we can remove coverage. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And and you know, if you watch any of our other videos, we know that there are ways to to mitigate what it costs for insurance, but one of the ways is to really work with a good independent agent. Have that agent help shop you. It's, it's really important that you get away from that captive mindset because they're not going to be able to sustain this. Now, you might be watching this video because you've been with State Farm for a long time and you're curious what's going on. You might be one of those State Farm clients who has one of the oh-so-coveted no cancellation guarantee. <laughs> Maybe a certificate that's uh, suitable for framing that's that was awesome. mailed to you at one point in time. You bet. Good news for you. State Farm is probably not going to be able to just outright cancel your policy. They are going to raise rates like you wouldn't believe quickly. I know that a lot of companies have also that, that used to offer 12 month auto policies are, are only now offering six months because yeah. that allows them to re-rate. They're changing payment plans, requiring more for the first payment. You bet. Um, yeah, certainly State Farm has been on six months, so they're, they're not going to go any shorter than that. That's for sure. Um, but they will just do the same things every other insurance company is doing. They'll try and limit how much new business is coming in until they get their rates right. They will try and shed some of the business that might be predictably bad. Right. Um, people with high insurance it's scores, get, accidents yeah. in the recent past. And they're gonna do that by taking giant rate increases for them. Yeah. If you don't fit just right, it's gonna be harder and harder to get insurance with a company whose name you know. That's just the truth of it. For how long? I don't know. Uh, you know, I assume it will normalize. We went through this once before and, and things got weird for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But for now, if you're wondering why your State Farm insurance went up so much or is headed that direction, it's because they are trying to play catch up with the market. And that takes a big company like that, huge leaps to fix this problem. So if you have a question about why your insurance company goes up and we have it on our magic chart, leave it in a comment below, but we'll be making some more of these videos to talk about those numbers. In yep. the meantime, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and then come back and see us next time. Thanks so much. The Phoenix Insurance for you.